A while back, we found ourselves in a field of wildflowers in northern Colorado. We set up camp after discovering we had solid signals in both AT&T and Sprint, a perfect place for our technomads to stop over on a cross-country trip. That was until we started getting roaming overage notifications. Did you know that AT&T limits you to 24 megabytes of roaming data, and they don't indicate you're roaming until you've hit that cap, and Sprint limits you to 300 megabytes? We now had an idea for an app. What if you could know if you had any coverage at all beforehand? What if you could find out even if you had no internet access at all? What if you could more easily guess where providers' data roaming is? Introducing Coverage. We laid the groundwork for coverage at iOS DevCamp 2010, and it was named the most useful app. With Coverage, we would have been able to turn on maps for the providers we had service with and discover that we were actually in both Sprint and AT&T's roaming zone. That would have saved us a lot of disappointment. Or let's say you're taking a road trip from Denver to San Francisco. You have an iPhone on AT&T and a Verizon data card that you need to stay online with as much as possible. With coverage, you could better plan your route by turning on the maps for AT&T and Verizon to view their 3G coverage along the way, and then see where their slower 2G service is. You could also view where they had roaming agreements to get you online in a pinch. Or are you somewhere where you're getting no signal at all, like the Grand Canyon? But you have a business call you have to make or an email you just have to get out. With coverage, you will quickly see where the nearest likely coverage is for your providers so you know which direction to start heading. Sure, you could go to each provider's website and navigate their maps. Coverage, however, makes it significantly easier for us bandwidth junkies to guess where we might get our next hit. 